Hey y'all, I'm Tiana Michelle and welcome or welcome back. So I cashed in my annual pass to do some mini braids because my fingers can't handle much more than that. So if you want to see how I did them, just keep watching. I'm starting off on freshly washed hair and I let my hair dry a little bit before starting and maybe I shouldn't have done that because it kind of made the process just a little bit more difficult to do. But having this three part mirror made the process of parting so much easier because I really struggle with that. So I have that linked down in the description box in case you're interested. My roots didn't look the best after about a week because I didn't use a stronghold gel. I just used some Eco Styler because I'm almost out of this. I'm trying to transition out of the Eco Styler, but I'm struggling to let it go, even though I know of many other alternatives, but that's not the point. The point that I'm trying to get at is that if you wanna do like these mini braid styles and you want your roots to look fresh for a little bit longer, I would suggest using something like Shine and jam or just some sort of you know what they use when when you get your hair braided use that and I love the way mini braids come out but I'm not gonna lie to you this process be about to take me out I was so optimistic at the beginning of this because you know I was on the first row so to cut back on the time a little bit I did not braid all the way down I left my ends curly I think I braided down two-thirds and then I left the ends curly just so that this will be like a three and a half to four hour style rather than it taking six hours to do because I made the braids pretty small. In the past I've done bigger braids but that can tend to look spacey and not as full as I want them to be so I'm just going you know take my time here. Out of everything though, I'd say the parting is probably what takes the most time to do. Just to get it straight now, my parts are not gonna be perfectly straight. I don't really care for them to be that straight since there's so many braids, you're not gonna be able to see it like that anyway. So I tried to make it look decent, but I wasn't like, you know, stressing about making it perfectly symmetrical. And this is sometimes a little tricky for me too, like braiding from the back because I struggle with corn rowing for that very reason. So I start the braid up like, you know, behind my head for as long as I can. And then I bring it to the side and braid it down the rest of the way because, you know, my fingers just don't work like that. And I went back to look at this footage to check the time on my camera to share how long I had been doing my hair at this point. So with these mini braids, by the time I got to the second row, it had taken me about 40 minutes to do. I was off to a slow start. It took me longer to do the back of my head just because, you know, it's pretty tricky braiding the back of your head versus the front so I got them done a lot faster as I moved up my head it's really interesting because I have multiple curl patterns all over my head like these two rows that I'm braiding right now that section of my hair my curls are looser but as I get to the middle back of my head there are a bunch of different curl patterns mixed into that one section and they're shaped differently too so when I did my mini braids, I was kind of nervous that my ends were gonna get really frizzy, but they lasted throughout the week without me having to refresh the ends or anything. Like I was, I was impressed. In here, I tried something different. When I did my mini braids last year, I parted the top half of my head differently. This time I parted it in sort of a U shape where I was going ear to ear. And then as I was moving further up, I was still doing that sort of U shape because I wanted to see how it compared versus how I did them last year. It still turned out nice, but for my head shape, I think I prefer the way that I did them last year. And the next time around, I would definitely part them that way versus this way. It still looks nice, but I like the other way a little more. Hi. 
By this point, I had been doing my hair for two hours and it was really starting to dry out. So I just detangled my hair again, used my detangling brush, sprayed some more water and just kept pushing. <laughs> All right, we're at the halfway point and part of me was like, yay, we're halfway done. And the other half of me was like, man, I ain't done yet. God damn, God damn. And somehow this is the first time in my life that I came to the realization that this part of my hair is the most dense. I was on this row alone for a hot minute. For some reason, part in this particular section of my hair hurt so bad I had to dance to the pain. But on the bright side, once I got to the front section of my hair, it got so much easier for me to get my hands and arms to do what I wanted them to do. So it kind of felt like I just flew through these parts. Just like that, we are on the last braid. So I'm taking some Pattern Beauty Mousse to tame any flyaways and just add a little extra moisture to my hair. And as you can see at my roots, this is what I'm talking about with suggesting that you use a stronger gel slash pomade because the braids do look a little loose at the roots. And I could have scrapped the video and refilmed it again, but with many braids, my hands just can't handle putting myself through that again. So I still think that this is a video that you can find useful and the mistakes that I made, you can use this video to show you what not to do and what you can do to make your hairstyle turn out even better. But I still love how this hairstyle turned out. It looks really full. Plus, mini braids are so versatile, so there's a lot of different styles that you can play around with. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here, but I truly hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope to see you in the next one.